Okay guys, uh, welcome to part two of my endurance run. Sorry I had to split it up, but uh, yeah, I had to go to the movies or something like that and then I had to sleep. So yes, this video is a little bit late, but I'm here. Now, let's see what's going on. I upgraded this, it looks like, because it's dark. Um, leave that, let's just let it go, see what happens. Man, that's a lot of monsters. Yeah, I've got to do something about that. Let's see now. I can duplicate this a couple of times. Actually, you know what? I'll just use a couple of them. Let's do one here. How it's making kills, I don't know. Pull up the volume a bit. <clears throat> Probably didn't do a difference for you, but it's doing a difference for me. And we'll chuck one. This one right here. Why not? Weaken those monsters, get rid of them from the screen, so it doesn't lag as much. Wow. <laughs> By the end of this one, I think I'm going to have about seven, 800 kills on the uh, lightning shrines. You can look at all those details in the stats. Hover over stats, you don't have to click on it or anything. And, pardon me, right down the bottom already, lightning shrine kills, 490. That's not too bad. Oh, I've got a couple of demolitions left. Now, fewest hit points. Wow, they're just dropping like flies. Let's go random. Okay, as it stands, this gem can handle anything I throw at it, more or less. That angry more, and it's random, so I'm just gonna have to micro. Oh. Huh. Well, maybe I don't have to do anything really in particular. Oop. That's it. Now I'm waiting for what was it, 112 million or something like that? Uh, 56 million, yeah, 112 million. So now I can more easily do stuff like this. Let's upgrade these puppies one at a time. Let's also upgrade these because I'm going to be using them. Not that one. And what's this? Ah, right, pure yellow. Okay. I'm going to, let's see, 112 million. Ugh. I'm going to have to do 36 of these guys, essentially. Why bother? Why not just let the game run? Well, because the difference is quite big, so... It does make the game a little bit quicker if I do this rather than just keep on waiting until I've got, say, 450 million as my maximum for the mana pool. It just gets there quicker if I do this now. Three and a half mil, no, billion, yep. Alright, sweet. Now this should be flying. Yeah, that's flying. That's doing pretty well. Instead of going to Google and letting this run, I think I'm just going to micromanage away some of these monsters so there isn't so many on the map. Let's see. Clicking on monsters. Does it respond slowly? Now, I'm basically going to let the game just keep on going like this. I'm going to have to anger these waves a bit. How many? About 500, that's about what? 
five or six of these on each wave, I think. Or something like that. Oh wow, it's actually killing the monsters from here too. This is quite perfect, to be honest. <clears throat> Come on. Wow. Up to wave 89. That's pretty late for me. Then again, I haven't done one of these endurance runs in a while, so... All things considered, it's not too bad. Thinking of maybe doing one more endurance run as one whole video for you guys to watch. Or maybe split it up into two videos. Maybe I'll split it after 45 minutes of play. And um, the question is, what, which field should I do next? Should I do the first level? Or should I do one of the corner levels? Or should I do the level that's easiest with the largest amount of mana shards? What should I do? I don't know. I'm not quite decided yet. Wouldn't mind your input, guys. Honestly, seriously, just if you want me to do something, anything on this game, anything to show you how things work or strategies or whatnot, just ask me and there's a good chance you'll probably get a video for it. Because not many people seem to be commenting on my videos. I don't like that. <laughs> I wish more people would comment. Let's see now. Pause. What's this at? Uh, quite a few targets. Here we go. I'm almost up to 225 million. When I'm up to 225 million, I'll be able to upgrade this one again. And then we'll really start to fly. Three, two hundred twenty-four million, two hundred twenty-five million. Perfect. Uh, let's see now. Uh, I hate it when that happens. And you go a little bit too fast. What am I doing here? I'm tapping the spacebar. Ah, oh, I see what I'm doing. I made a boo boo. I forgot to upgrade these. Damn. Let's see. Yep, they all combined. Wasted. Oh well. Worst things could happen, I suppose. Ah, oh, come on, game. Don't do that to me. There we go. Okay, who ordered an upgrade? I did. There you go. And because I'm upgrading the gems inside the amplifiers, that amplifies the lime component, so I'm still gaining lime anyways. I really should ditch this and just go for a pure orange, actually. Which I am going to do right now. Screw the lime. I might even start upgrading the... Um, gems inside the amplifiers with pure lime as well. Sorry, pure orange. Because 700 targets. Yeah, look at it. It's a bit of a... It's pretty laggy. We could do with a little bit better. Sure, we wouldn't get as much mana in the same amount of time, but I can live with that. It makes the game run faster. It's not like as if achieving our goal in the least number of waves contributes to anything really. It's the amount of total time that you want to keep down when doing an endurance run because there is no point in dragging it on any longer than it has to. I'll 
Just thought of something. I really should start gem bombing. Oh wow. Okay. Let's let's upgrade this a couple of times. So the next time we go to use it. That worked out pretty perfect. Let's see if this thing runs any faster. While looking at Google. Not for long guys, just a little bit. Be patient, stick with me. Going back in five, four, three, two, one. 300 million. 304, 305. 306, 307 is what it should be, and it's up to 3. There you go, the game goes twice as fast for me if I go to Google. I don't know about you, but I like that. Oh, I gotta admit, this makes for boring video. Boring video. Oh, boring video games. Let's have a look and see what someone's opinion is on... Oh, five most boring video games ever. Why not? <laughs> uh, nope, we didn't get it. Oh, here we go. It's actually lagging a little, so... Let's try and micromanage away some of these guys. Yeah. That's working out rather well. Got rid of a lot of them. Now let's get rid of a lot of these. Come on. Come on. God. It's taking forever. I'm clicking here. Thank you, guys. Ah, oh, I see. These monsters are much harder to kill. Because of what I... Yeah. Okay, I'll just have to upgrade this puppy a little bit. Hey! Ah. Finally! About 15 seconds later, it responds to my pausing. Now, what are we up to here? 1.7 billion. So, what? What grade are these? 22. Yeah. There we go. That should be grade 25. Pump that up. Maybe that's better, I don't know. Oh, we can pump up these guys easily. Look at that, 14, 28, 56, 112. So I'm putting them all on grade 22. I could put them on grade 23. Why not? While we're here, may as well. Let's see how much more powerful this gem is. What grade are these guys? 23. Alright. Let's go. That's better. Now it's mopping the floor with them. Come on, kill the monsters down here, please. Oh, here we go. Gotta look in. That's not too bad. It's becoming manageable. 
580 monsters on the field. You know what? To be honest, I have a feeling that the aspect of the game that's lagging the most right now is just the gem inside my trap here. Because it fires so fast and it's so many monsters. Computer needs to make a lot of calculations. There's nothing really I can do about that. In fact, I can prove that it is that by doing this. Look at it. Now, as soon as it activates in the trap, you'll notice the game lag a little bit. There we go. See? Slowed down to about a third of the speed. It's just the way it is. Dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun. Things will never be the same. Alright, I've just realized I'm over four, uh, 450. I'm halfway there. Believe me, it's going to take me a lot less time to get even further. <laughs> it won't take me long to get to that one billion mark. And then I can finally finish this. That'd be nice. Let's upgrade these. Let's upgrade these before I forget again. How's this going? Let's see. We duplicate it. And we are oh, just under. So you know what? We will do this. Upgrade them all once. Yeah. Yeah. That'll do. Let's combine these and then X them away. And what do I need? I need grade 28 and these are grade 23. Yep. Okay. Here we go again. Ah, oh, crap. I hate it when it doesn't register you pressing the spacebar down once because then you get that and it's just a delay and it's annoying. But hey, uh, it's just another thing you got to deal with in this game. Um, you know what would be nice? You know how there's an automatic extend mana pool and an automatic send waves? It'd be nice if there was an automatic duplicate gem. That option would be very useful. Or, in the end of the day, what you could do is maybe even better still. Now, this would make the game probably. It would change the game dynamics a lot. It would make the game a lot easier, but it'd be awesome, I reckon, if there were an option where you could say, okay, I want a gem. This is the grade it's going to be. These are the colors. These are the amounts of each color I want in them as a percentage out of 100 or whatever. And then say, create gem. And what it will do is it will keep on going up, filling up your bar, and then as soon as the bar is full, it will take away, say, half or something like that. And it will keep on doing that and storing up mana and mana and mana and mana and mana until it is found that you have enough mana to make that gem and then it will make that gem. Just another little piece of automation that I think would be it would be great, but having said that, like I said just before, I think it would change the dynamics of the game. I'm not sure it would be for the better. Now, let's see damage. Now, screw the damage. Let's look at the mana gain per kill. Yeah, it's pretty beefy. Okay, let's watch this puppy in action. <coughs> Pardon me. What grade is this? 29. That's not too bad. Ah, oh, crikey. That's not what I wanted. My main gem is killing stuff a little bit too fast, so... How to remedy that? I'm just going to have to put more, more guys on the field. Simple as that. Keep that gem busy. Come on. I can kill these guys without any repercussions. That's fine because they spawn up here anyways. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, the game's becoming a serious lag fest right now. What am I going to do about this? I 
Okay, this is what I'm going to do about this. There was four gems bombed on each one, so we'll make it six. Okay. Let's try them apples on for size. And let's look away because this is just going too slow. Okay, five most boring video games ever. Let's look at this crap, shall we? Let's see. Since the dawn of the Atari, developers have striven for realistic gaming. Titles that mimic real world situations. Problem is, not everyone's life is like solid snakes. And sometimes replicating virtual reality gets a tad too realistic. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I dug up a pitfall seed. Wow, that's realistically happy right there. Look at that smile. <laughs> Let's see. Animal Crossing from Nintendo. Let's tap. Imagine babysitters? What? Why would you imagine being a babysitter? Various Imagine games. Bronchi the Bronchiosaurus. And what's number one? Sims! Wow, someone seems to hate Sims a lot. That's not bias at all, is it? Uh, that was a crappy opinion. Let's look for another one. Actually, let's go back. Okay, I got a few monsters to kill. And we're only up to 700 million. Damn it. Okay, let's kill a few monsters. Okay, let's use four of these. Put them in here. Smoke and mirrors. Hmm. Boring wimps. Blah, blah, blah. Shortlist Magazine, okay, from Magazine. Why have video games become so boring? Uh, I think the answer to that would be casual gaming. That's why it's boring. Let's see. And I'll drop one here. Wow, that is a lot of hit points right off. Anyone up for virtual babysitting? No. <laughs> Euro Truck Simulator. You know what? It's kind of a good idea, but it's kind of not. Babysitting? Yeah, hell no. Pro Cycling? Um, yeah, I can see how that can get boring. Pictionary! Oh, my girlfriend loves that game. I probably shouldn't have said that, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Let's pump this one out. Let's tap. Wow, everyone seems to hate that one. There's a bus. King James Bible for Game Boy. Right. The Amazing Virtual Sea Monkeys. Tale of the Sun. I'm overlooking at boring games. Let's do something a little bit more interesting. Oh wow, I smashed the crap out of those guys. Let's look up. Uh, actually, we're in Google. Gemcraft 2 Chasing Shadows. Release dates. Because everyone wants to know. Ah, oh, man. kind of sucks because even though the game developer has been writing a blog and so forth and has been telling people about what's coming up and all of that stuff he doesn't blog often he blogs on average once every couple of months about gemcraft chasing shadows so he's keeping us in the dark about it probably because he's keeping himself in the dark about it I don't know what the story is but I can tell you right now 
It's um, it's very hard to get any information on that stuff. I'm going to try my luck and email him. See how I go. How loud is the sound on this? It's on two. Let's put it on one. Uh, we don't want to do those. Let's see. Forgotten. Gem of Eternity. Let's see. What else has he got? Lost chapter. Under developments. Blah, 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 blah. Let's see what he has to say about it. Not used near stage 3D. Not sure he knows how to work with it properly, but whatever. Uh, let's see. August 1st. November 3rd. December 16th. There we go. The last post was on December 16th. It's now, what, um, April 1st. So it's been a good, what, three and a half months. Got some different art here. Uh, apparently there's going to be nine gem colors in the new game, not eight. And it looks like he's simplified this a little bit. Instead of having all of this stuff. I think that's because he's taken out the ability to build shrines. That's what he's done. Yeah, that's right. Now I remember. So, no ability to build shrines, which means you're on your own, pretty much. Let's get rid of some more monsters. Let's see. Screen size, a little bit more. Stage size change. Basically, wider but shorter. Uh, let's see. These squares are ever so slightly larger. One pixel both ways. New options button with a smiley face. Uh, hmm. Okay. I like this. This looks a little bit more tidy and neat. I also like the fact that he's adding a nine times button. Not sure about this though. I mean, can't see anywhere near as many waves as we can on uh, Labyrinth. Not sure I like that one. But hey, each to their own. Let's see, what else? Um, I have no idea what all this crap is. It's, it looks like a wall. It's got a shadow like a wall. Um, then again, maybe it's not a wall. I don't know. Uh, new monster systems. Monsters can have any mixture of a wide range of abilities. Abilities, increase speed, armor, healing self or others. Yes, they can heal. Battle events. Uh, next to the wavestone, various events arise as you slay the monsters. Oh, that would be these. So if you, I suppose if you somehow satisfy these, you might get extra experience or something. One click gem creation. Right. Oh, okay. So you set the grade you want by sliding it up and down. You just go, yep, that, 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 that. Um, not sure if that'll be quicker or if it'll slow people down. Tell you what, it'd be nice to get a hold of a copy of this just to try and play around with it and see what it's like. Maybe put a few YouTube videos on. Hey, hey, who'd like to see that? Come on, monsters. Die, monsters. There we go. A few more monsters dead there. I like it. Wow, this is an incredibly powerful gem. For what it is right now. It, pardon me. It was smashing the crap out of it. Ooh, 905. There we go. I can do one more upgrade. Okay, so it looks like I was wrong. My memory did not serve me correctly. You need about uh, 1.8 billion mana in order to be able to get everything to level 31. So, there you go, folks. I was wrong. Funny that. You know what I'm going to do. I'm going to upgrade these. Including you two. And I'm going to 
and the amplifiers. Yeah, that's better. Less lime. Because it really is lagging the hell out of it right now. And it's debatable as to whether or not that's a good thing for time. So, let's see. Yep, yeah, that's lowered that. And, gonna do this. Upgrade the mana farm gem. And then hopefully all will be happy. What I wouldn't give for a supercomputer right about now. Even just a cluster of computers. Be quite nice. Let's see, 28, yep, that's correct. 795, that's a little bit more sensible. Uh, hey, shoot over here. Thank you. That's it, kill monsters, thank you. doing? I haven't even got this set. Oh, this is frustrating. It's not responding to my commands. It's just doing things. Thank you, finally. Okay. Now that I've got that set, I'm going to kill a few of these. And then we're going to be off to read more about Gemcraft too. Chasing Chasing Shadows. Chapter 2, I believe it is, or something. Come on. Kill the monsters. Wow. These guys are actually pretty tough. I'm thinking I might have to upgrade my gem, actually. Looks like it's going to have to be... I will, hmm, 800, so 24, 24, just put yellow in there. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, and that's all done. And now I've got to beef up this one. What grade is he? Grade 26. That's nothing. Make him grade 27. And see how he goes. He should do a ton load more damage now. Hmm. Seems not a ton load enough. So we're going to upgrade him again. One lime. Hey, there we go. God, it's going so slow. Let's see. Yeah, it's going a bit better now. So let's kill those guys. Oh, 
Okay, time to kill some monsters, actually. This is ridiculous. Let's go for there. In the bar next to the wave stones, various events arrive as you slay the monsters. Sparks trigger by kills, not time, so you can haste them without with summoning. These events can give either bonuses, more mana, damage bonus, double summon, or can get you into trouble. Monster beacons, weakened gems. Okay, so it kind of adds a ra random element to it. That could be fun. Maybe. I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> now let's give these puppies a swing. Make a few kills there. See, buys gem system, nine gem types, including black and white. Got rid of lime because it was hard to distinguish between yellow and green. More likely green. I agree. Probably won't get rid of the ability of chain hit. Probably just changing the color. Black gems though, hmm. That'd be kind of hard to see on the background a little bit. We'll see how that goes. Maybe you'll put a pattern on it. Uh, now let's go to fewest hit points. Go make me a bunch of kills. Uh, let's get out of here. Let it do its thing. Mana gain is blue now. Poison gems will also slow healing. Yes, monsters will heal over time. Oh, great. Huh. Look at this. The game runs perfectly until they step over my mana farm. Watch this. Uh, that hurt. kill them. I'm just going to have to stay here and micromanage this a bit just to keep it going, moving along at reasonable pace. Either that or I could just keep on reading this actually and let's see how it goes from there. Let's see, 9 speed button. Shrines will get back to their original special status. They won't be buildable. Not, uh, not with the basic spell buttons. So they might be buildable or placeable or movable but you can't build them by purchasing with mana. Fair enough. One click gem creation. We'll see how that works. See how much XP you will earn in real time. Huh. Plus track your battle performance XP bonuses by rolling over the XP field. The old flawed battle amulet system is gone. Reward you with more XP if you perform perform better. Huh. More summoning. More mana gathered, longer kill chains, and not by forcing you to do repetitive tasks like building 10 towers. Yeah, I did wonder why building 10 towers was so important. It just didn't really make sense at all, to be honest. And I've got a mess of monsters. So I'm going to have to kill these guys again. Sorry. There we go. Let's give them two this time. Really weaken them. Let's see. What else are we looking forward to in the new game? Okay. No more mana pool cap. If you fill the mana bar, it will extend automatically and reward you with a higher mana replenish bonus instead of punishing you by wasting your overflown mana and costly mana pool extensions. Yeah, to be honest, that's a good thing. No more cap. I like that. Don't know exactly how he's going to represent how much mana you have, but... 
by using a bar, I see it just extends. That could be strange. Um, we'll see how that goes. Empty space at the right side of the header give you room to various spells, curse and bonus markers. Curse. Maybe even an undo button for the before first wave construction phase. Now that is a good idea. That's I saw that implemented. A lot of people saw that implemented in desktop tower defense. You can undo pretty much everything that you do before you send the first wave or start the game and not lose any sort of any currency you built up as a result. It's just smart. Um, I wish you already had that actually. <laughs> it would have been good. Finally, I have some other good news showing thousands of monsters was a big problem. Previous chapters made a solution. Promising test results. Oh, yeah. Only seven monsters per tile will be drawn on the screen. If there's more, then it won't draw them. It'll just recognize that they are there. And as you kill one, one more will pop up. Blinking monsters being switched on and off. Not that bad at all. Game runs much smoother. Core i7, the game was still playable with 3,000 monsters running around. Well, what's his definition of playable? Summoning system, go through some changes too. Making monsters rather tougher than rapidly increasing their numbers. Making summoning still rewarding while at the same time less demanding on the CPU. I like that idea. I always did think that Gemcraft seemed to go nuts with the monsters a little bit too much. Let's kill off these puppies. Come on. I know what I can do if the game decides to pause for me. Fewest hit points, go for it. Yep, him, then them, then him. Hey, we got one over here. Get him. Thank you. And that's it. Nearest to the orb. Let's let it go again. Ah. Well, what sucks is before Christmas that came out. That's three and a half months ago. God knows what he's done since then. Probably a lot, probably a little. He's probably trying out his new ideas and finding that they're a bit annoying or something and trying to change them, come up with better ideas, something like that. I could only speculate. But there you go. The next game. When will it come out? I don't know. But I can't wait for it. Sounds like it'll be very revised and very playable. Yeah, let's kill some of these guys. They're getting on my nerves. Get her away from me. Whoa. Okay, click the little high then. Hey, kill them. Thank you. There we go. Now the game's a little more playable. sit here and micromanage this all day or I could just bite my lip and say I'm pretty close to my goal I'm just gonna do this see what else can't see anything else um, if anyone can find something more recent than this for Gemcraft 2 chasing shadows by all means let me know what 
Ah, I forgot to anger. Damn it. Okay. How many more can I get? Mm, quite a few. That's more than enough. I won't need any more than that. played that these guys have made. I've played this, this, this. All the gem crafts. I've played reels. I played this weird game that they had. It was... Oh, it's this one. Yeah. Treasure of Cutlass Reef. That was a bit strange. It's a bit repetitive, but eh, it's different. It's hard. It's a good little fun game to waste your time on. Ah, who are we kidding? We don't like any of them. We only like Gemcraft. And we want the next one. Are you listening, Peter? <laughs> we want the next Gemcraft. Uh, laggy, laggy, laggy. What did I say I needed? 1.8 billion? Okay, let's see. Oh, I've got it. Okay. Let's upgrade these. And you too. Pardon me. Now. Let's bring down the number of targets it hits. I don't know why I'm doing this, to be honest. It's kind of pointless. In fact, I'll just concentrate on upgrading this one now. So, let's see, 1.7. We can get eight of these. Uh, come on, don't do that. Let's see now. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And lucky last. Okay, now what grade is this? 28. I just put these here. This is 25, 26, 27, 28 is 8 of them. I know that's more than eight, but at the end of the day, I'm just going to need to make a crap load of these anyway, so why not? Yeah, let's chuck a couple of these in there, in the mix. Why not? Can't hurt to be able to hit a lot of monsters, can it? Two, four, eight. That's twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. And if I do this, that's twenty-nine. Twenty-nine is thirty. Now let's see. I need twenty-five. Twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. So I need 
32 minus 8, because this is worth 8 of these. Uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I need 16 plus 8 is 24. Moment of truth. Yes, I counted right. Okay, there's our grade 31 gem. Uh, the stats look fairly okay. It might not be enough. Let's see how it goes when it randoms. See if we can clean up all these monsters nice and quick. Hopefully we can. Let's let it do its thing. is pretty funny. He's trying to get money by advertising, but it's advertising other games, which is probably not good for him. Okay then. Sending all the waves, because I can. Maybe not. Okay, maybe instead of random, I should just do nearest to orb still. Let's see if I still got that. Yep, do not let any monsters reach your orb. It's very important. It's only worth a 1.05 times multiplier, but believe me, that comes in very, very handy. It can give you quite a few million compared to what else you've got. It's useful. Okay, i got a feeling this is not strong enough that I need to create another grade 31 gem. Create a grade 32 gem. Maybe, we'll see how it goes. I'm just going to try something. God, if the game ever lets me do stuff. It's not so much the lag that I hate. It's the fact that every single command I do is delayed by lots of seconds. That's just incredibly frustrating. It's kind of hard. Look, see, I built that shrine, what, almost a minute ago now? Let's see if it even builds it. Unbelievable. That is probably the worst aspect of Flash. It does queue up your commands and it gets to them when it gets to them. Unbelievable. Let's send these two waves. <laughs> Let's do this to let the game actually do stuff. <laughs> Who sets up their stuff like that? Tower, amplifier, tower, amplifier, tower. No one would do that. Never share an amplifier. It's pointless. Alright, I'm going to just... Now that we've got rid of the angered waves, let's send all the waves, see how it goes.
You know what? I think, funnily enough, let's chuck that in there. And this for the lime component. Let him help out as well. Why not? Nah. Okay, maybe these two weren't necessary. Let's see. We'll do that. And that. Amplify that. How much damage does this do? 16 million minimum. 66 million maximum. This one does more. But the thing is, it also does another... 3,900 times more that. So in other words, it's doing about per hit a minimum of something in the order of um, 10 billion damage. No, hold on a second. 100 billion. 100 billion damage every time it fires. I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty bloody good. But can we keep up? Is the question. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm creating a little bit of a maze here. Because I can. And I'm gonna blow up that and put a wall there. Just to make it a little bit of a longer distance. Give the gems more of a chance to fire away. Eh, it's not pretty. I'd rather have it another grade higher, but you know what? This kind of works enough. So this is essentially the goal you want to achieve. You want to... This gem is doing almost nothing. I Honestly, it's just giving me mana. That's all it's doing. I mean, really, the damage it's doing is pointlessly small. What you want is you want this gem to be grade 31. You want it to have a lot more of the yellow component than the others. And you want it to do around four times, uh, 4,000 times extra damage with your 100%. Around that. And then just chuck it on random. Send all of the waves. Don't anger them. And this is what happens. You just keep on going wave after wave after wave. And it kills all the monsters for you. Preferably before any of them reach your orb. And it doesn't look like they're going to reach the orb. It's, honestly, they're not doing well at all. I'm kicking their butt. So now we play the waiting game. Uh, let's see, what are we up to? Wave 380. Wave 380, and there's 1,337 waves. For those of you who don't know Elite Speak, 1337 is the way of saying L-E-E-T, or Leet. It's short for Elite. I think that spawned from Hackers, the movie, back in the mid-90s. Angelina Jolie's in that one, actually. You get to see her topless briefly, so by all means, go watch it. It's a bit weird, though, because she's a bit young. But anyways. Yeah, there's not really much I can say about this, other than... You just gotta wait for about 5-10 minutes, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go and have breakfast while I wait for this to happen, but just to show that I don't cheat or anything like that, it's all genuine. I'm just going to let this go, and this would be the second time that I've now made an endurance level. Ah, oh, there's that one monster. There's always one, isn't there? Ah, oh, there we go. He's dead. Whew. That was lucky. <laughs>
let's see, where are we up to? Wave 1135. Not too long now. Let's check the battle amulets. No monsters have reached my orb, that's good. Total damage delta is just going up ridiculously. Oh, and you're probably wondering, if Gemcraft... <laughs> if the monsters keep on getting more hit points and more armor every time a wave goes through, you know, the higher the wave, the more armor, the more hit points, that's true up to a certain point. There is a ceiling. Even with all of the settings cranked up on the uh, start of the level, there is a ceiling as to how much hit points a monster can have. It's not true about the armor, but even though the armor is 82, 83 million, 86 million in this case, compared to the damage that's dealt by this gem, the armor is just negligible. Yeah, look at that. Monster hit points. That's 9,999,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,